Hello everybody, welcome back to Dale Says Fat Guy here. Let's take a look and see what I yesterday had affected me today and see a couple of numbers that are week over week to see what's going on here. Big day, very big day, 2700. So essentially it has cereal, this time it was the cinnamon one. Try not the other low carb cereal. I, I leave that magic spoon cereal remaining for Aiden just because she doesn't actually eat that much but it's beneficial for her and the carbs are super low as well as the calories. This one is a bit higher as far as the carbs go, but the calories are the same. I think it's just under 10, so it works. As for the pitcher, that is the same one from yesterday, but only had one of those bowls. But I forgot to take a picture of it, so that just wanted you to see it. It's basically reconstituted, reconstituted no pasta salad back into pasta salad. That's what dinner June 10th was. And with school almost being over and Aiden doing good in her final assessments and just being really good here at the end of the school year, having to keep it up, I rewarded her. Not with wine, that was for me. She got pizza, I got pizza. Got a slice, she got a couple slices, but that's because I ate quite a bit later. Normally I would get two slices with her. Yeah, I went a little bit nut on those pecan twists. I mean, it's just two sweet rolls and it's only 220, but it was just, it was so hard to not go over it. Pretty much, I just been eating uh, in a way I should not have been the past few days. It slowed down today on Saturday. But I'm thinking I should be in an okay spot tomorrow. I mean, I have more findings from looking at my older data over the years that I work better on just being restricted by time. That's why I made my, you know, my fail option where if I can't hit my 330 pound goal by Father's Day, then hey, I go back to restricting myself by time not by amount because i looked there and i saw that even when i ate like ridiculously high amounts like 4,000 calories but was restricting myself to 18 plus hours of not eating every day i still lost weight even on the high calorie days like that now when it became consistent when it became more than three or four of them back to back it would die out but no i that was only that only happened two or three times from what i saw over the past few years so I got a lot of good that can come from this. So failure may just be success. Okay, as far as the steps go, I am not gonna beat things out week over week. I'm gonna come just a few thousand steps under, so it's not so bad. Mainly due to having a really low Friday and Thursday, but I'm fine with that, I'm fine with it overall. And as far as exercise goes, I am going to be doing two to three different types every day moving forward starting tomorrow and what I'm going to do I'm, I'm primarily just going to record myself on the days that I do something new and if I'm inclined to just get my camera out to record while I'm doing it doing something I've already shown you all before I'll do so when I go week over week I'll definitely do it but for this month this the last one that I'm doing daily updates uh, I just it's going to be too much that and I don't have things set up to easily uh, keep myself entertained like I'm in proper music or something to see while working out so that's part of the reason yeah now week over week you know what I mean well first off I mean today versus yesterday I went up by 0.1 pounds not so bad week over week I went up by almost a full pound okay uh, I think that's going to be going within the next couple of days but that's where we are right now as far as blood pressure is going, it's been a really great week. Like despite my active blood pressure being three points higher than it was a week ago, my resting blood pressure is down by 12 points. So hopefully I can get them both to show green next, next week. Okay, and this will be the last slide that I show you here. Normally you get a little video of me, you know, front, back and both sides, but I didn't think to do that earlier today. Got busy, went out, went to Walmart, did a bunch of other running around. I can go down and do it now, but I feel it'd be better to just do it in a fasted state without there actually having to be in food in my belly. I mean, I m took my measurements earlier, but I needed to get in and get things done. But aside from that, I mean, this has been, you know, a good, goodish week, good as far as the measurements are going. I mean, I'm getting small victories and a couple of hard, you know, setbacks. Well, not setbacks, but just. Kind of like robots, Walmart terminology. <laughs> but this isn't so bad. I expected to be a bit even like this. Like even on the so-called good weeks, I still had some red, like even one or two bits. So this is fine. This is better than the dang near all red of last week.
But that's it. I'll talk to you guys more about my plans as the month goes on. And as I start to transition from daily updates to weekly. But yeah, I'm still seeing a lot of good to come from this. It'll open me up to, to focus on some other things more and to not worry so much about editing the same type of video every day. Because I know that definitely gets a bit boring to see being you know, uploaded every day there. Believe it's not the greatest putting it up. I mean, I originally planned to just talk about my personal thoughts and just how I'm feeling on a day by day, kind of like an open diary sort of daily. But I realized very early on, if you go back to January when I was trying to do that, kind of feel the same every day that's just a few little minute things that change but day to day it's just it's just all so i'm doing what i can now thank y'all for tuning in god bless you all have a great day bye bye now.